Hello, I am Dr. Jennifer Gokenauer. I'm with Living Springs Veterinary Care. We're out here at Long Hope's Donkey Shelter today. This is my friend Fletch, and Fletch is about to get microchipped. Now, super important that we microchip these guys. I'm a really big advocate for microchipping all domestic animals. That includes your dogs, your cats, your donkeys, your horses. Microchips are a identification that is gonna be with him for the rest of his life. This chip will be implanted in him and it has his own specific number that'll be registered to him. And anywhere he goes, anywhere across the world, we're gonna know exactly where he is with his microchip number. Very first thing I do whenever I have any microchip is first I wanna make sure that the microchip is the correct number that it says it is. So I'm gonna scan this chip Okay, so that number matches the number on the sticker. It'll match the tag that was sent with that. So that's good. The next important thing to do is we do wanna make sure that he hasn't already been microchipped. Some animals may actually have been microchipped and we don't know it, and we don't wanna put two chips in one animal. So the next step for me is I am going to scan where the chip should be is in this area. And maybe up here is where we actually chip alpacas and llamas. So if something got chipped in a weird spot, if it's migrated anywhere, possibly on the other side. Okay, no chip was detected in him. These microchips are in individual sterile wrapped packages. We're not practicing true sterile technique right here, but we also would not implant a microchip in an area that was very dirty, very muddy, a lot of hair. So I do want an area that's pretty clean on him. In equines, the microchip should always go on their left side in the area around what would be kind of the nuchal ligament area. Ideally, we would place this chip into the nuchal ligament. Sometimes that's hard to do. I wouldn't get too excited if you don't say you get it in the nuchal ligament, but if you get it in this area on the left side of the withers in front of the shoulder, that's where we wanna go. This chip has to not be too superficial, but we're also not going directly deep in. We wanna go at kind of an angle. If it's too deep, we may have problems scanning it. This is a large needle, a large bore needle that this chip is gonna be implanted in. Fletch is a really good boy, but if he were to react in a negative way, I wouldn't blame him in the least. So I have a handler that's prepared for him to go somewhere. I'm prepared for him to not necessarily be standing right here. If he stands perfectly still and doesn't move, A for Fletch. So I give a little pinch. That's kind of just warning him of what's going on. So gonna go directly in. Good. Okay. Look, you've got moral support from Samson over here. And there's his microchip. The human instinct for pain is to rub it. We don't want to rub it. You actually could rub that chip out. And sometimes what I'll even do is I'll put a little dot of skin glue on that to close that hole. Skin glue, which is vet bond, right at the spot where that hole was and kind of pinch that skin together a little bit. That's gonna help him not bleed and that's going to protect that spot so that chip doesn't come migrating out. So he's fully chipped, he's safe. Here's his number. Here you go, Fletch. Let's make you be official, man. Fletch is a microchip donkey. Now we do need to register that microchip. So the paperwork part of this is not done. So this chip does need to be registered when it's registered with AKC Reunite ID, they will have that number in there forever and ever. And there are universal registries that you can call. You don't have to call the AKC Reunite. You can call home again. There's all kinds of universal registries that with this number, they'll be able to find him anywhere he goes. This is not a GPS unit. Don't be concerned about that or, or think that's what this is. You won't be able to track him if he's lost or runs away somewhere. 
This is so his owners know where he's been and what path he takes. Anywhere he goes, we'll know where he's at, but we won't be able to find him if he's lost. 